will seize all. He sees the one. Welcome to book one. I'm Kenny M and that was a little bit melodramatic, wasn't it? But then again, what do you expect from a book called Vengeance? I present to you the Tainted Rome series. Our search for the one begins with Vengeance, written by Ian Irvine and published in 2011. The story is one of betrayal, heartbreak and revenge. Talalai V. Torgris was only little when she watched her mother brutally murdered, her head cracked open like a nut, her body disrespected, stepped on as her killers made their getaway. Although living, living deep underground, a pale slave to the nation of Scython, Tali begins her plan to escape her captors, to return to her one true home, Hidesfall, and have her vengeance against those who killed her mother. The Tainted Realm series is a trilogy, beginning with vengeance, continuing with rebellion, and ending with justice. Oh, and I forgot to mention, it was published by Who Else? Orbits Books. Oh boy, do I enjoy conspiracy theories and high fantasy novels. There's just something about having a conspiracy theory unfold in front of you that makes me enjoy the book even more. Appreciate the lore, the background, and the thought that was put into building up this whole world and then just to watch it all crumble. Oof, just And I can tell you, Ian Irvine does not disappoint in his trilogy. This conspiracy spans thousands of years, so long that the line between who is good and who is evil, who started it and who finished it, is severely blurred. The surface dwellers of Hydesfall claim that the Sithonians started out it all, killing their people and kidnapping their children. But the Sithonians claim that the Hydesfallers started it all. They are the liars, the one who took them out of their land and drove them on the ground. But who's telling the truth? Whatever the truth is, it is clear that the pale slaves are trapped in the middle of it all. And not only that, but it appears that even the land itself is rejecting everyone. The realm has become tainted. Why do I like the Tainted Realm series? Well, maybe I'm a sucker for a good high epic fantasy novel. Maybe I'm a sucker for an awesome conspiracy theory. What's for sure is that I am a sucker for Orbit's books, since this is the second series that I reviewed that was published by them. Yet, yeah, it's pretty much all of the above and something extra. See, when I first picked up Vengeance, I was really skeptical about the premise. I thought it was the one cliche story, but in fact, what they say is true. You should never judge a book by its cover. Let me use another example. Attack on Titan. Initially I was very very skeptical about this series. It was hyped to no end. And eventually I checked it out. Attack on Titan is a manga that became an anime about a human civilization that's terrorized by gigantic beasts called Titans. Attack on Titan had me in the first seven seconds of the first episode beginning. Let me set the scene. The main character staring up in horror into the sky everyone around him doing the same. Birds flying around, everything is silent, and then BOOM! Gigantic head, with no skin, looking over the wall. The camera pans back, and you see this wall is massive. 
and there's a gigantic head with huge eyes staring down at the tiny people over the wall. It's safe to say that anime had me from that point on. Yeah. Vengeance had the same effect. Not with a gigantic titan looking over the wall at some tiny people, but with a servant called Will the Somp of Scython, who comes across a book called The Consolation of Vengeance, a book that tells the future. He reads the book and, well, mm, you're going to have to hear this for yourself. The letters brightened until his eyes began to sting, to steam. Will began to scream, but even as his vision blurred and his eyes bubbled and boiled into jelly that oozed out of his sockets, he could not tear his gaze away. He had longed to be special, and now he was. He read a book, and his eyes boiled out of his head. That page, that little section, is in the first chapter. Four pages in. Holy shit. So, do you want a nice taste of vengeance? Well, all the books are available on Audible, Amazon, and in your local bookstores.